Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Kardec Radio for Kids and the Spirit Society of Virginia. We are here back, Miss Daisy and I, on this lesson about charity. Friends, it's going to be so special. We're using this book from Luis Rujivas. It's a beautiful story, and we're going to share with you after our prayer. So let us invite Master Jesus to come and join us. What do we do for our prayer? Right now, let us sit still. If you can, it's good to close our eyes so we can focus. And then we just visualize Master Jesus. All right, so let us pray together. Dear beloved Master Jesus, thank you so much for bringing us here today on this class. We pray, Divine Master, that you bless every single child that connects to this program today, and also their parents, brothers and sisters, grandmothers, grandfathers, uncle, aunts, cousins, the whole family. We also pray for their teachers, their friends from school, and everyone else in that school. We thank you, Divine Master, for inspiring Luis who heave us on these lessons, especially this one about charity. We thank you for protecting us always, and so be it. Miss Daisy, are you excited for this class today? Oh, Miss Paloma, I'm so excited. <laughs> This is such a beautiful lesson, and there's a beautiful story coming up of the children. I can't wait. Wonderful. So we're going to start, and we'll see you soon, all right? Yes, yeah, see you soon, Miss Paloma. See you soon, children. Okay, friends. So we're going to start, and as always... Who comes to visit us? Yay, it is Master Jesus. And he doesn't come by himself. Our friends come along always with beautiful questions. What does Master Jesus say? He says, hi, kids. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Friends, they, he's telling that to us. And what do we tell Master Jesus back? Thank you for having us, Master Jesus. You can repeat it out loud. It's okay. Thank you for having us, Master Jesus. So what are we supposed to learn today? Our friend has a question. Master, I would like to ask you a question. What is charity? That's a good question, friends. We talk about charity all the time. Charity, charity, charity. But what is charity? Master Jesus is going to tell us because he's the best at it. He's going to say that charity is when we are kind to others. Yay, we know that. Being kind is good, but also when we forgive others' mistakes and are indulgent of their wrongdoings. Okay, friends, a lot of big words there. We know what it means to be kind. It's when we do the good to other people, when we help, when we smile. Forgiving other mistakes, let us think of an example. Let us imagine that maybe somebody broke your toy by mistake. They were holding it, it fell on the floor, it broke. We forgive. They didn't mean to do it. It's okay. We say no problem. We understand. 
And when we say indulgent of their wrongdoings, to be indulgent is when you look at somebody that's made a mistake and you understand them and you let it be. So, for example, let us imagine that maybe our brother or sister um, came in our room and took a book. You didn't like it. It was your book. But you look at it and said, you know what? I remember one day I went to my brother and sister room and I took something from there too. So I guess I've done it too. I understand. I'm going to be indulgent. I'm putting myself in someone else's shoe. And we understand at that point that sometimes we make mistakes and we do, friends. We all make mistakes. So we want people to forgive us. What do we need to do? We forgive others. We have more. The friends are here with us. What are they saying? Oh, is forgiveness when we give people second chances? Yes, Jesus is teaching us that. What, we have more questions. Is indulgence when we understand other faults? We just talked about it. What is Master Jesus going to say? Oh, that is right. When we don't practice charity, what are we? We are being selfish. And now, Master Jesus has a story. He says, let me tell you a story about charity and what happens if we are selfish. So, friends, let us hear out this story, paying a lot of attention in what happens when we are charitable and what happens when we are not. All right? Enjoy, friends. Hi, I'm Izzy Peterson, and I go to Spiritual Society of Virginia. We'll be doing read-alouds, and today our read-aloud is going to be about charity. One beautiful afternoon, Loopy the puppy was visited by his friend, Ollie the kitten. After a long conversation, the kitten remembered Loopy had been on many adventures and had an idea. Hey, can you tell me a funny story? Loopy thought that would be fun. He thought for a moment and said, would you like one about dinosaurs, pirates, or astronauts? I would like one about... Unicorns, requested Ollie. Seeing her friends interested, Loopy accepted the challenge and began to tell the story. Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there lived happy beings that gathered together in the castle garden to play. They were a penguin, hippopotamus, a kangaroo, and... Wait up, Loopy, these are backyardigans, exclaimed Ollie the kitten. Calm down, it's just a little story I'm creating, said Loopy, and continued. These little ones saw their unicorn friend walk by wearing sunglasses and carrying a ball. They asked him, can we play soccer with you? The unicorn accepted grumpily. As soon as the game began, the unicorn started making fun of his teammates' mistakes and gave them all mean nicknames. Hey, fatty, you look just like the ball. And if someone messed up, he would say anything but kind. What a bad team. You all suck. He was not at all forgiving, nor was he understanding of others' errors. How could you miss that goal? Also, the unicorn never passed the ball to his teammates. Yeah, I'm a ball hog. What's the problem? At one point, the unicorn tripped and fell over complaining. You did it on purpose. Despite his teammates assuring him it was an accident, he got up, grabbed the ball, and left. Enough of this game. I don't forgive you. I'm never playing with you losers again, said the unicorn, seeing red. Some days later, the unicorn noticed that the companions were together organizing a surprise party. Then he remembered that his birthday was coming up soon. That's why they didn't call or invite me to the group chat, said the unicorn. Wait a second, interrupted Ollie the kitten. A group chat? I think the animals in the story are a little bit too modern. Calm down, I'm just being creative, said Loopy. I want to know how the penguin can type a message, said Ollie. Let's get more interesting part of the story, Loopy continued. So the unicorn got ready and waited for his surprise party, but nothing happened. On the day of his birthday... He was all alone and began crying. Why hasn't anyone called me? Do they not want to be my friends? 
Ollie the kitten focused on the story and said, the other animals didn't call because the unicorn was rude and inconsiderate. Maybe you're right, said Loopy. Let's see what happens on the following day. Feel sad, the unicorn said to his classmates, guys, can I play with you? Of course, they replied. During the game, the unicorn didn't call the teammates by mean names. He was understanding of their mistakes. But something worrying happened during the match. The unicorn tripped and fell again, leaving his teammates concerned. It was an accident, the unicorn said, reassuring his friends. It's all right. Phew, said his friends, continuing the game. It seemed the unicorn is forgiving others' faults for the first time. That day, the unicorn learned that being selfish didn't do him any good. His horn lit up, and he said, it's so good to have friends. They are a great treasure. And as for the surprise party, it turns out the unicorn had gotten the day of his birthday confused. On the unicorn's actual birthday, the party went off without a hitch. All of his friends were in the attendance. Be kind to others, forgive their mistakes, and be indulgent of their wrongdoings. This is charity, said the unicorn. I really like this story, said Ollie, smiling. I want to hear another one. Bye, everyone. Hope you learned a lot from this video. Hope you had fun watching this video. And we have to remember that including people and just sharing things and loving the people that you have is charity because it's charity for yourself and it's charity for others to know that you're doing something right. Don't be selfish for what you have. Um, don't take it for granted. Love what you have. Bye. Hello friends, so we are back and what a great story. Wow, I learned so much. How about you guys? Did you enjoy the story? So that was a lot for us to learn. So let us recap just a few main points about this story so that we can go on to our activities. So we have our friends back, the children. They're going to help us recap the story. Do you remember everything that happened? Huh? Let me see. And you can also tell me, type it in. So the unicorn, he had several friends. But at the beginning of the story, the unicorn was being very selfish. He was grumpy. He didn't want to share. And when he decided to let his friends play with him, he wasn't kind at all. He was calling them names, right? He was not forgiving towards their mistakes. He was learning to play ball. His friends were also learning. So he was not understanding of that. Hmm. That is true, friends. So let us stop here for a moment and let us think for ourselves. Are we sometimes like the unicorn? Are we grumpy and we don't want to share sometimes? Or if our friends, they want to play, maybe they suggested a game and we're like, no, 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 no. We're not kind and understanding and we want to play whatever we want. If not, we get grumpy and we are mad with them. Or do we forgive our friends like Miss Paloma was telling us? If by mistake, maybe you're playing with your friends like the unicorn and you, maybe you fall down, your friends, you're playing, they didn't mean it, right? But then what do we do? Do we forgive them or not? We do like the unicorn. The unicorn didn't accept it. So what did he do? He left and he then was all by himself. Can you imagine thinking it's your birthday and you're all by yourself? Well, that is what happened, friends, when we are selfish. It doesn't do us any good. We isolate ourselves because no one wants to be around with someone who is selfish, right? But then the unicorn learned a lesson. And hopefully today we all learn with him. He learned that when he was charitable, when he decided to be kind to his friends, yes, to forgive if they made any mistakes, 
because we all make mistakes. We are not perfect, right? We know we're far from perfect. And he was understanding. They were all learning together. So if one of them made a mistake, he understood, right? And he felt it so much that he got so excited that he was shining light. And that is what happens with us. We might not see it, but we feel it. When we are charitable, when we are kind to others, we have this light that is around us and it reflects in others wants to be around us. They want to be around people who are charitable. So let us be friends like the charitable unicorn. Yes, let us practice charity. So now we will move to our main activity. And today we're doing something different. We're doing a word search together. Yes, a word search, friends. So I want you to help me. We're going to together find the three main words that we are learning today. First one is benevolence. When we are kind towards others, when we are loving. So let us see here, friends. Let us look. Do you see anything across that maybe says benevolence? Hmm. I cannot find anything, can you? How about from the top to the bottom? Do you see anything that it might be benevolence? Hmm. I'm reading here. I don't see any friends, friends, do you? Hmm. Maybe, friends, how about from the bottom to the top? Yes, sometimes that work. Ha, huh. I think I see it, friends, right here. Yes, benevolence. Do you see it too? Benevolence, that is right. When we are loving and kind towards everyone, regardless of who they are. That is what Master Jesus taught us. So how about the second word, indulgence? Remember, Miss Paloma taught us and reminded us that indulgence is when we understand that we know that no one is perfect. So we are indulgence, understanding towards their mistakes. Do you see indulgence? Do you see it across or do you see from the top down or the bottom up? Hmm. I think I see it, friends, right here. Indulgence. That is right. It's right there next to benevolence. And we have one more. Forgiveness. Yes. Jesus taught us forgive. 70 times 7. Ooh, that is a lot, friends. That means forgive as many times as necessary. Infinite, many times. So let us look for forgiveness. Do you see it? Let me know if you see it because we need to do this together. We need help. So I don't see it across. I'm more looking for the F so that it starts forgiveness. Hmm. But I think I see it from the top down right here, friends, in the corner. Do you see it? Forgiveness. That is right. Great job, friends. Thank you so much for doing this activity together. So let us remember our key three key words for today. Benevolence, indulgence, and forgiveness. All of them together when we practice them means that we are being charitable. Yes, we are practicing charity. But you know, friends, we don't stop here. You have your family heart work. That's right. That is the opportunity for you to practice this with your parents. So in this week, during this week, you can write this down or you can ask your parents 
we will send out an email with the family hard work. We'll put it in the comments here on Facebook too, so you can look at it later. But this is what you have to do. You and your parents are invited to discuss how important it is for us to practice charity. And then we would like you to complete this activity. You will look at this picture right here and you see, when I, you complete the phrase, when I'm charitable, I, and you can tell us what happens when you are charitable. And in the other hand, like the unicorn, look how sad, how upset he was all alone. So what happened, friends, when we are selfish, the opposite of being charitable? So talk to your parents, do this activity together, and then, friends, take a picture and send it to us. Yes, all the educators at the Spirit Society of Virginia, we would love to see your work. So ask your parents, send us an email at info as ssvirginia.org and we love to see the beautiful activities that you do as a family. And now friends, you already know, we together would do our final prayer. So put your pencils down if you're writing and let us do as we did for the initial prayer. Let us ask Master Jesus to join us because He's our guiding model. He's always with us. And let us close our eyes so that we can truly focus on this prayer. Dear Master Jesus, we thank you so much for this beautiful lesson of tonight about charity. Thank you for Master Jesus bringing to us how can we apply it to our lives? Remind us to be kind towards everyone, to forgive their mistakes, and to be understanding and indulgent, knowing that none of us are perfect and we do commit mistakes. We thank Luis Hu for bringing us this story and for having such wonderful activities for us to do it together. We pray that we can continue applying this. Remember always to be charitable towards everyone. And we pray for the children who could not be here together with us tonight, whatever they are, that they feel your beautiful embrace, Master Jesus, in which much, much gratitude in our hearts we ask you to close this lesson of tonight, and so be it. So thank you so much, friends, for joining, and thank you, Miss Paloma, for being here with us. We wish you, friends, that you have a beautiful day, a beautiful evening, whatever you are, right, Miss Paloma? That's true. Thank you so much, friends. A big, big hug and a kiss. Yeah all of you yes big hug friends we'll see you next time for another story join us next week we'll see you then bye bye